you know how many chapters you have in class 9? Just 3 or 4 chapters. And I have a full year to complete it. So I can spend 3 or 4 classes on just one small topic. A ball is thrown from a top of a building. Ball is thrown from a top of a building with a velocity of 10 meter per second and returns with a velocity of 30 meter per second to the ground. It is thrown up like this or thrown down? Tell me. Oh, 36, sorry, 36. Since we have drawn 35, can we solve 35 first? Please read 35th question. A ball is thrown from the top of the building with velocity of 30 and returns with 30 minutes. So because the ball is returned, because the ball is returned, you can say that initial velocity is upwards. Okay? So the velocity is 10 meter per second, it is thrown up and it hits the ground 30 meter per second. Find the height of the building, what is H? Can you solve this? Which equation I am using? So should we take G as then? Yeah, take G as then. Take GS10. It will help your calculation. Which equation I will be using here? Tell me. Hey, I have initial velocity given. What is the final velocity be? How much it is? Minus 30. Yeah, whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter actually. Acceleration is how much? Minus 10. I have to find H. So, automatically this equation comes in the mind or not. This one? Right? So, V square is how much? 900. U square is 100. Plus 2 into G is 10. And S is how much? G, G is minus 10 actually. Minus 10. And S is how much? S is plus H or minus H? Minus H. It is down. Got it? Okay. Now you will get the same answer here. But then you have to understand how to solve it. Okay. So it becomes plus. So here H is 800 divided by 20. Right? Which is how much? 40. 40 meters. And how? This part. A is minus 10. S is minus H. Then 100 goes this way, it becomes 800. 800 is equal to 20 into H. So H is 800 divided by 20. You please do it yourself. 900 minus 100 is over. See, cal see, calculation I want you to do it. Right? Write this in your notebook. Write this in your notebook and try to solve it. Try solving it. Don't don't, uh, you just, uh, lot of the concepts that are written in the board, calculation you do yourself. Quickly find out, solve it. Done? Yeah. Understood? See, if you are not writing anything, then even if I solve 1000 questions here, it will not help you. Okay? You have to write it down. You have to solve. Okay, 30th, then 36th. All of you please read the question number 36. Okay, but then this is, this is the same question, right? Similar, similar. Can we solve this again? Okay, let's solve it anyways, we have time. A ball is dropped from a top of a tower. Ball is dropped from a top of a tower of height 
100 meters. From here, a ball is dropped. Okay. Another ball is thrown vertically upward with the velocity of 10 meter per second. Find the time after which the ball will be at same level. Find the time at which both of them will get the same level. What does it mean? They will meet somewhere. Let's say there is where they will meet. Let's say at a distance of x. You have to find at what time they will be at the same location. Getting it? Get, get the value of time quickly. How many of you got the answer? Only one, two. Tell me the time when both of them will be at the same level. 10 seconds. So I can see 5 or 6 people have already got the answer. Please solve it. Others. See, if you are not doing anything wrong, you will get the right answer. It okay. doesn't matter how to solve it. See, till class 8, you might have seen that there is only one way to solve a particular question. Going forward, you will see a numerical can be solved in 5 6 different ways. All the all are correct ways only. Okay. So don't worry about how you have solved it. Alright. How many of you got the answer as 10 seconds? Only 7 8 people. Okay, let me solve it quickly. It is same thing, right? X is equal to ut this and then minus of 100 minus x. U is what for this object is job 0, right? So this will be equal to minus of half into 10 into t square. Okay? These two equations you have to solve. Substitute the value of x over here. This will be gone. So 100 is will be equal to 10 t or t equal to 10 seconds. Same question you have done earlier. The earlier question was trickier than this question. Okay, what else? After 36. 37, 38. Okay. Are these difficult ones? They are mandatory exercises. They are your school level. 37, right? 37 is right? Okay. A ball is dropped from a balloon rising up its velocity 50 meter per second. All of you pay attention here. There is this balloon that is moving up. With 50 meter per second. A ball is dropped on the balloon was at a height of 100 meter. The balloon was at a height of 100 meters when the ball is dropped. Ball is dropped. Okay. Find the time after which the ball will no wait. Find the time by the ball to reach the ground. You have to find the time at which the ball will reach the ground. Getting it? What is the initial loss of the ball? Minus. 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 Is there a doubt that ball will be at rest? If the velocity will be zero, the ball is moving with a balloon. So if you drop something, that object is not at rest. It is. It was moving with your hand, and then you drop it. So it will move with your hand's velocity, which is moving with the balloon. Okay. So it's the ball's initial velocity is 50 meter per second. You have to find out time at which it will hit the ground. Quickly solve it. 
Okay, get, get me the equation. Get, get the equation. 